Hello everyone and welcome back to Catherine's Plates today. I've got a vintage dessert for you. You know I love these with the jello in them. This one is a 7-Up Lime Jello Salad. Oh, it's cool, it's refreshing, it's really easy to make. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. What I want to do is show you how to make the jello. Now we're not going to make it per the directions on the back of the package, so make sure you follow along. The first thing to do to make the jello is we're going to put a medium saucepan on a burner and put it on high heat. I'm going to place two cups of water into the pot and we're going to bring that to a boil. With Easter coming right around the corner this would be a great dessert also, but it's great for any time. Now you want to make sure your water comes to a boil. You need it that hot. There's several ways to get your water hot enough for this dessert. You can boil it like I'm doing here. You can put it in a teak pot like this and then bring that to a boil. Or you can put it in the microwave and bring it to a boil that way. We've got a boil going on. What I'm going to do now is turn off the burner. We're going to add the water to a large mixing bowl. I love these no-bake desserts. The only thing you had to do was boil some water and that's the only thing that we're going to be cooking or baking today for this dessert. Okay, we got our water into a large mixing bowl. I've got six ounces of lime jello. So we're going to go ahead and add that to the hot water and then you're going to want to stir this for a few minutes until all of the sugars in the jello have dissolved. Look at that pretty green in there. You can save this recipe for next year for St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to stir this until all the sugars have dissolved. Take about two to three minutes. Don't stir too hard. You don't want that water to backsplash on you, burn you. So be careful. It smells delicious. Y'all let me know down in the description box what flavors you would use for your jello mixture. When you get all of the sugars dissolved, what we're going to do is add six ounces of cream cheese. Now I brought this to room temperature and then I kind of popped it in the microwave for about 10 seconds. Still wanted to get that chill off of it. I just broke it into about six pieces. I'm going to add that to the jello mixture. And then what we're going to do is take our electric hand mixer. We're going to blend that till it's nice and smooth and creamy. Now very carefully add it to the jello. You don't want to splash it. Alright, it looks really nice and smooth. Just like that. You just want to make sure there's no clumps of cream cheese in the mixture here. Let me give that a taste. Mmm, ooh, now that's a good flavor. That cream cheese just lightened up that lime flavor. Ooh, it smoothed it out. We're gonna go ahead now and get the seven up involved. Two cups. I'm gonna measure it out. We're going to go ahead and add the 7-Up to the mixture. Stir that together. What we're going to do now is place this in the refrigerator. Find a nice happy spot for it where it won't get bumped around. And it's going to soft set for about one hour. And then we have a few more things to do to this. I can't wait. Y'all come back. Make sure you give me a thumbs up, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below with that bell notification. That way you'll always know when shows are posted. It is free to subscribe. I'll be back. Okay, I've pulled it out of the refrigerator. I can let it sit for an hour and a half, and now this is what the soft set's going to look like. Almost like a pudding consistency. 
what we're going to do is add 16 ounces of Cool Whip, or if you want to make your own homemade whip topping, you can do that also. The original recipe called for Dream Whip, and it's a powder form, and you would make it from there. All right, we're just going to blend this together. So just use the folding technique. So pull the Jello into the Cool Whip. It'll take just a few minutes. Y'all check down below for my vintage recipes that I've made before. And if you have other ones, other ideas, let me know. I'd love to make more vintage recipes. Okay, we're gonna move this off to the side. I'm just gonna bring over a small bowl. I'm just gonna put a little strainer on it. Okay, I've got some crushed pineapple and I'm going to put 10 ounces of it into our mixture here, but I'm gonna drain it first. So I'm just going to squeeze the juice out. I love pineapple juice, so it won't go to waste. Now, if you want to put the whole can in there, you can. But my husband's not a big fan of pineapple, but this will work for him. I'm just going to stir this in. Make sure everything's combined. I'm going to bring a baking dish over. It doesn't have to be a 9 by 13 it can be a little less than that. And what I'm going to do is pour it in. Oh, look at that. Okay, we're going to flatten this out evenly. There we go. Got my husband over here eating out of the bowl. Y'all want to see a picture of that? I told y'all. <laughs> okay, this is going to go in the refrigerator for three hours. We need to let it totally set up. Come back. I'm going to show you how we're going to finish this off and make it look spectacular. Quality check's good, by the way. Quality check. Is it good? It's good. It's good. It's real good. Mm, yep. It's been three hours. It's time to decorate. I have some Ready Whip and some cherries. You can decorate this any way you want. There we go. All right, let's scoop. I got my spoon, I'm diving in. Mm. Oh, that is very good. Very creamy, very airy. You can definitely taste the lime in it. I can feel the pineapple bits in there. Oh, it's so good. Adding that extra whipped cream on top for more creaminess. All right, y'all, give me a thumbs up on this one. Hey, are you changing the flavor of your jello for this one? Let me know. Okay, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way you're always notified when my shows are posted. Y'all comment down below. I'll see you on the next episode. Mm.